So I'm so the server is running, and and I told that my, uh, in the bit the Bitcoin daemon that's running in the server, it's already synchronized with the Bitcoin uh, real blockchain, the longest blockchain. So how do I know that? Okay, so when uh, so um, so let me let's first see whether Bitcoin is running. So I'm, I'm so as you know. Um, or you may not know so to uh, find out the process we can run PSAUX and I want to uh, find out whether Bitcoin D is running so I'm gripping Bitcoin D and it shows that okay Bitcoin D is running let me squeeze it a little bit so Bitcoin D is running as you can see um, yeah so the daemon is running right now so when the daemon is running i can do the bitcoin command i can use the bitcoin command line interface to make a rpc call so bitcoin cli help so all these rpc call that i that you can uh, you can uh, request to the bitcoin uh, rpc and the API is actually here so this is the Bitcoin wiki so let me go to the technical technical side so in the Bitcoin wiki we have the technical articles here and then we search with JSON so we have API reference JSON RPC so we go to the JSON RPC. This is uh, so my Bitcoin D is running, and this is the uh, Bitcoin command line interface. So Bitcoin CLI get balance. Okay, so a list of RPC calls. So this is the API call list. So so what do uh, we uh, what do uh, what does this API call mean? So as you know. So let me back up a little bit. I mean, uh, today I am uh, talking a little bit um, uh, more in uh, more te te technically savvy. Um, probably, uh, probably uh, who don't are not interested uh, very much in the Bitcoin programming. Uh, it um, today's uh, uh, today's conversation uh, probably are not very relevant. However. Uh, it may be interesting to learn. So we knew that uh, Bitcoin block is like this. So all these transactions and we have the chain of blocks. For example, these are the recent blocks that you can see. And uh, if we go to the blockchain.info, then you can see it uh, that how many transactions are being created in each minute and uh, all the recent blocks for example this block um, the age of this block is like around one minute so um, all these uh, information that's happening in the in a global uh, network all these um, block uh, blockchaining is happening in a global network but the global network consists of uh, of bitcoin uh, uh, bitcoin nodes that means individuals or a group of people running bitcoin node so Right now, my server is running as a Bitcoin full node. That means I am also participating to the Bitcoin network. That means I'm running a Bitcoin node. Therefore, as I have, I have been saying over and over again, that uh, my server has synchronized all the, all the, uh, all the, uh, all the, uh, has synchronized with the, with the longest blockchain and, uh, and downloaded all the, block information so what this uh, api this json rpc call means is um, i will ask my bitcoin client to give uh, the necessary give uh, the information that he has extracted from the uh, bitcoin network so uh, today we'll only restrict our our bitcoin cli commands in uh, the 
uh, commands um, only in the block side, Bitcoin block side. And uh, in future videos, I will show you uh, the other commands and how we can use it to get other information. So just uh, to have a quick review, we have this full list of command. So this is uh, these are the commands. So and uh, these are the description of the command if you want to be ahead of me uh, like uh, knowing all these commands so what you can do you can just uh, read this and uh, so for example so this is uh, so we want to create uh, first thing uh, in Bitcoin where does this Bitcoin uh, store okay I mean I mean uh, for, for a regular person where does my Bitcoin go so as you can know we have Bitcoin address so that means uh, in the uh, query uh, so if, if I go back to blockchain.info if I go to this block as you can see in this block this Bitcoin address received this amount of Bitcoin okay so so the first thing probably you want to do is to create a Bitcoin address so I go to um, my uh, SSH connection and uh, what I do Bitcoin CLI get new address okay and okay so so basically I will explain uh, let me explain it first so I am making this Bitcoin command line in, I'm using the Bitcoin command line interface and calling this uh, using this uh, call get new address and uh, this is my account name so so uh, what's happening here I actually use this get new address so I use this JSON RPC call so it takes one argument that is account where I have used Anondo that's my name name and I have created a new address under this account so the bit if you, if you have the Bitcoin uh, Bitcoin uh, GUI you can I will show you later that in the GUI you will see that under each account you can have multiple Bitcoin addresses for example let me create another Bitcoin address for this account so get new address the same um, same command I run it and I will get another address okay and it's different as you can see this starts with one five and this starts with one ng so I'm creating a new address so now if you want to know how many addresses I have under this under this account uh, so uh, we have an uh, we have uh, a, co a command called get address by account okay so let's use this so I do Bitcoin CLI get address by account and if I run Anondo then what happened oh get addresses by account so I have misspelled get addresses by account as you can see I have created three addresses under this account and um, you have seen that the last two address 151n uh, is the recent two address that I have created. For example, let's create another one uh, Bitcoin CLI gate, uh, gate new address. Uh, for example, we were okay. So I will get a new address now. If I want to see again Bitcoin CLI gate addresses by account viewer so I got the address okay now for example you want to see how much Bitcoin this account holds right now I don't have any Bitcoin in the server uh, in, in my wallet here so Bitcoin CLI gate um, gate balance on the okay as you can see if you uh, if I had so this balance is basically the cumulative balance of these three Bitcoin addresses 
okay so if i had one bitcoin here three bitcoin here and one bitcoin here then it would have given five okay and as you know one two how many zeros after decimal point one two three four five six seven eight so that's why probably you have heard or you are hearing now that bitcoin is divisible up to uh, up to eight decimal points that can be increased upon the agreement of the bitcoin lead developers however uh, that's why some people argue that bitcoin is infinite because um, i mean not in uh, not in the sense of uh, what infinite means but uh, we have even though we have only 21 million bitcoin but uh, as it's divisible um, you can have so many uh, bitcoins milli bitcoins micro bitcoins i mean uh, enough if, if bitcoin's value has risen risen um, up to uh, up to a certain level or risen a lot then uh, we can we, we could have uh, we can use micro bitcoin okay and uh, we won't have the lack of bitcoin but the problem is definitely uh, in in that kind of economy some people will have a um, huge amount of bitcoin and the people the early adopters will have um, a lot of money okay compared to the new people however that's that's uh, how the investment works or the early adoption works so uh, get account address uh, is another one for example uh, what is get account address bitcoin cli get account address it should be the same hmm. uh, get account address something is wrong okay bitcoin cli get account address i have written account somehow it's not working i actually didn't use it a lot uh, use it a lot before so however this is okay so i get the bitcoin uh, get addresses by account now the viewer okay so there are other things for example uh well, probably i should not show you so how this entirely uh, the cryptographic um, signing process actually depend on private key so what you can see here is actually a bitcoin public address right so basically the public key is much longer than this and i will i will have another segment on uh, the public key private key and elliptic curve cryptography where i will describe how we uh, create these bitcoin addresses however so the public key is much longer and against uh, each public key you have a private key okay and uh, this is actually a hash of the public key we, we need to have another segment on cryptographic hash how do you create how do you create cryptographic hash from any string or any text uh, so uh, or what uh, the sha256 or sha2512 hash algorithm means okay so this is uh, there's a public key and uh, for each public key there needs to be a private key that means the private key is private that means only you hold the you keep the private key if you if you give up your wallet that means if somebody steals your wallet that means uh, he can he or she can have the access to your private key that means if he ex if he can have access to your private key he can actually sign sign um, sign a new transaction uh, using uh, your uh, Bitcoin address, okay, uh, or using your private key, and basically you will lose your Bitcoin address. That means you need to keep your wallet private. By keeping your wallet private or securing your wallet or encrypting your wallet means basically you want to hide your private key. So this private key is the most valuable thing that you don't want to lose, okay.